Hello everyone, Rip and Dip Boy here, and today I'm going to be showing you the basics of HTML. Uh, I'm using repel.it because it gives you a custom domain and HTML is not the only thing that can be programmed on here. Now of course there are other ways to actually program in HTML, for example, uh, like notes and all of that, but I just use repel.it so I can get a free custom domain if I'm not setting up like a permanent website or anything. Uh, or just like I just want to see what I can do or maybe set up a website for a friend or something. Because uh, out of my like whole friend group I'm one of the only people or like people that I talk to in real life. I'm one of the only people that actually program. Uh, and it's not just some like block programming from scratch or code.org. Uh, uh, but we're just gonna make sure you make an account if you want to save this. Uh, I've already used tutorial in YouTube as the name because I've had like four or I don't know how many other uh, tries at making at actually making this video because first my hotkeys when it worked in OBS and then I forgot to turn the volume up loud enough so it's super hard to hear. Uh, so I'm just gonna call it like please work OBS. <laughs> I uh, really don't work. I don't I really don't know, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh the page so it changes my URL to the name. And you can see that it gives me this free custom URL, and it it's just the name dot your username and then dot repel dot co. What you can do, you'll see there's two different things. So you've got custom domain, right? And that's just gonna if you click it, you can enter your domain if you have one. And then you've got open a new tab. I'm going to go ahead and click open a new tab. You can also copy and paste this. And remember, if you're trying to send your website to friends or people in Discord or wherever you're trying to put it, make sure that you copy and paste this link and not this one. Because this one is the link to your page. This one is the link to uh, to this. Now, if you, if you do send this to someone, all it's going to do is make a copy to where they can edit that copy, but it's going to put their name instead of your name uh, whenever they run the website. Uh, I'll link this website in the description if you guys want to use, uh, if you guys want to see the website as I'm building it. Uh, basically, since we've got it up in here, right now it's just a white page, but I like to put it in a new tab being that it gives me the full look at an actual website. So whenever I go in here, this isn't gonna give me the full look, but we're actually gonna just get into the programming. So you can just make a new line. You can do slash H1 in the second, and then H1 in the first. And then anything between these is what your text is gonna be. For example, this is a header. Now you can run it in here by either clicking this if it wants to work. Sometimes it doesn't want to work immediately. Sometimes you have to click run and give it a second. Um, if it's not going to work, we can just go ahead and go to the website, we can refresh the page, and now you've got a header. If we go over here, we can make a paragraph by putting the P. Uh, sorry if I spell anything incorrectly. I'm kind of like rushing and... Hold on. Uh, I'm kind of rushing and I'm kind of tired so uh, I'm just gonna say this is a paragraph this is probably where I've been spelling wrong in like the past three tries the paragraph part uh, and then we'll just add like another header and we'll just call it now whenever I put all right so let me go over here and I put H you're gonna see it goes all the way down to number six um, numbers uh, H6 is the smallest one and H1 is the biggest header so basically in H3 it's about in the middle uh, so you'll see I can call you can say this is a smaller header uh, so now that we have that we can go ahead and just do this and you'll see there's a header there's the paragraph and there's a smaller header um, you'll see that this is slightly bigger than the paragraph, but still smaller than the than the other header. Oh, we can go up here and we can go 
uh, we can go up here and we can do this. And we'll just call it like tutorial or something. Tutorial. That should be, yep. All right. So now that's the title in the head. So if you go up here and you'll see how it says refill.it, if we refresh, now it's going to say tutorial. Um, now what we can do, we can go into here. We're going to actually turn this into a website of some sort. We're just going to change the title to dogs are cool. Something like that. Uh, so then we can go through here. We can just take all of this out. We can say, dog, oh, okay. <laughs> dogs are cool. Then we can go through here and we can say why dogs are cool. So dogs are cool. God dang it. Because I really cannot spell right now. Because, hold on. Jesus Christ. Alright. Because they are playful. And of course you can put whatever you want in the use. This is just what I'm putting. So maybe you like cats more than dogs. You can put cats and you can give it a reason. Then we're going to do, I'll show you how to do wine breaks. So first we're going to do types of dogs. I'm just going to put that and I'm going to go ahead and make, there we go, like that. So then right here, we don't even need a space, so we just go, and then we'll do it like that, because I'm only putting two, and we put BR inside of these. What BR does, it breaks the line. So in between these two BRs, we can put our first type, like German Shepherd. And then in our second type, we can do something like a poodle. And you realize, if we go back, and we refresh, it's going to say dogs are cool, dogs are cool, dogs are cool because they are playful types of dogs, German Shepherd and poodle. Uh, over time, we're going to make this website more detailed, we're going to give it some styling, and we're just going to make it look pretty and all that. Uh, right now, that's about it. And uh, In the next video, I'm going to show you how to style in CSS, show you how to put images uh, into your website, so we can put like a picture of a dog. Uh, and then I might also show you some more things in the basis of actual uh, programming. But for now, that's about it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And wait for the next video. Bye.